Hello everyone, welcome back to the Zach F1 channel and in today's episode I have your post F1 fantasy thoughts from the sprint qualifying. So we've just had sprint qualifying, we've seen a lot of interesting results, very much to do with the premium drivers, the cheap drivers and for which chips you should use as we have a bit more insights than we did before these sessions. So, realistically, from the premium drivers, which is all drivers above 15 million, Fernando Alonso is definitely a no-go. We've known this for countless weekends. However, it very much looks like a McLaren domination weekend this time round in Brazil. So, what does that mean? Realistically, you want to try having Norris and Piastri in your team. Now, Norris still is my two times driver. However, Piastri now looks like the best second option. And this is because if we see Piastri's pace like he's been showing in the sprint quality, in the sprint race and the actual race and in qualifying, he could get fastest lap and driver of the day. Now, he most likely will give the position to Lando Norris, so he will lose points on that, but you get more points from fastest lap and driver of the day, even still. So we could still actually see Oscar Piastri in Alpha Fantasy outscoring Lando Norris this weekend because I guarantee you if it comes to the race and Oscar Piastri is winning and he has to give the position to Lando Norris for the championship Oscar Piastri would get driver of the day so those two are my favorite however don't count out the Ferraris I still think Leclerc is the third best option with Carlos Sainz coming in fourth but they just don't look like they have as much pace as they did have in Cota and Mexico this time round especially Max Verstappen a lot of talk with Max Verstappen because of his grid penalty I don't think he has enough pace anywhere with the grid penalty so he's probably going to be starting around 8th to 12th and I doubt he'll get any higher than 5th or 6th which just isn't good enough for how many points he'll get you in F1 Fantasy. Now cheap driver wise realistically you have two options you either have the option of going for the bad qualifier hope for more position gain and overtake points which is Yuki Tsunoda and Zhou Guan Yu or you have the drivers who look that like they're going to do well hopefully get into the top 10 and score you a lot of points, which is Alex Albon, Liam Lawson, and potentially Nico Hulkenberg. And the reason I say Nico Hulkenberg is because no matter how bad he looks in these sessions, he always ends up scoring you consistent F on fantasy points. He's got a magical way just to always get you consistently around six points in F on fantasy. Now, his teammate, Kevin Magnussen, will not be taking part this weekend. So let's see if they actually change Oli Behrman into this weekend quick enough because normally F1 Fantasy is pretty slow with this stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't put in in time. But hopefully by the time I put up this video, they've actually already done it. But this video is probably going to come out eight to nine hours before the sprint race. And realistically, I wouldn't be surprised if they put him in if they did an hour before. Knowing them, they'll do something stupid. But cheap driver-wise, you either have those options of the Lawsons, of the Albons, of the Colapintos, or you have the Joes or Sonodas, whichever route you think is best suited for Brazil. Basically playing it safe or playing risky. Now, team selection wise, like I mentioned, you have to realistically try to get Oscar Piastri and Lando Norris in a team. I were two times Lando Norris, and then with your constructors have McLaren and Ferrari. Now, no matter what cheap drivers you can have, realistically those four assets are the best to have so if you can fit those four in just with having double salva and colapinto then it's worth it if you can have those four assets with albon bottas and colapinto albon holkenberg colapinto lawson holkenberg colapinto it is all worth it now if you can't afford that i'd recommend to have norris as your two times driver with either not leclerc because if you can't afford piastri you can't afford leclerc but carlos Sainz. if you can't afford carlos Sainz, drop carlos Sainz down to george russell those are your two premium driver teams single premium driver teams are simple because you just need lando norris with hulkenberg with lawson with colapinto and potentially sonoda or album whichever one you fancy the most but those are realistically all of the team selections you can choose for f on fantasy this weekend now chips wise after the sprint quality i still think it's quite risky to be using extra drs limitless all of these chips on a weekend like this where we've no potentially there's rain coming forecasted for the sunday race however it does make limitless and extra drs really good looking at the minute extra drs it's very clear if there is no rain because rain is the main issue that's putting me off from using extra drs and the chaos of brazil it is a mclaren weekend it is one of the easiest weekends to go extra drs okay lando norris oscar piastri which makes it really tantalizing. However, just remember the rain and how chaotic Brazil is. And then all of a sudden you're questioning your motives. It really is 50-50 at the minute, whether you want to use it or not. Very risky. However, also very consistent. We've seen with 
being one of the best times that we know McLaren are just going to be on top and it should be pretty simple like that with Verstappen not in the way. However, with Limitless, it's again pretty simple with double McLaren, double Ferrari, Verstappen, McLaren and Ferrari. However, just because of how chaotic it can be with rain potentially coming, there could be a lot of crashes at the front. And if there are, you are screwed. So just be careful with these chips. It looks very good for a weekend if it doesn't rain, but if it rains, you could be in serious trouble. However, that is why I still think no negative is the best chip to use around here because I do think there's going to be two or more DNFs at this race and also autopilot purely because of what I mentioned. If Oscar Piastri does technically win the race but give the race to Lando Norris for the championship, then that means he'll get driver of the day and probably fastest lap and actually get more points in F1 Fantasy than Lando Norris would. So it's still a good time to use autopilot as well. And like I mentioned, wildcard and final fix, you still don't really want to be using at these sprint races because you want to use a, one of your bigger chips at these sprint races because there's only two left and the sprint races you get more points so more points equals better league rankings but anyway thank you all so much for watching i have speed run through all of that so i know it's a lot of information thrown at you instantly however if you want a lot more chilled out explanations Join me on my live stream an hour and a half-ish before the sprint race because that is the team deadlines. But as always, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope you all got something out of this video. I'll see you all later for another F1 video. Take care.